Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the set, set of Fear, Fear the, the Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. <laughs> what we're shooting today is a massive fight sequence. It took a huge amount of planning. First, we found the location. Since then, we've moved a lot of trailers in place, dirtied it up, added some gack, and really built an environment where we get a lot of great angles and a lot of visuals. And action! This is like the pinnacle sequence of the whole episode. The action really kicks off and all the different characters intersect. This is a heavy, heavy scene. There's Leland and his band of merry travelers. They've got shooters up on the roofs. They've got walkers coming at them from all directions. We crash the wrong party and Morgan is armed only with his stick. You know, they brought Morgan over from the mothership. There were six days between leaving The Walking Dead and starting on Fear. The crossover is something that we've all been waiting for. So to be involved in creating the space where it actually happens has been a lot of fun. The SWAT band's amazing. It's really an MRAP. It's a military personnel carrier. It's big. It's awesome. It has a lever. This is the tank. This is what Leland needs. It really is another character in the show. It's very imposing. It's solid as a rock. The real one weighs 80,000 pounds. This is a lighter weight version. It weighs close to 40. And to top it off, Althea's outfitted this thing with machine guns. 360 degrees of destruction. We're gonna have a lot of detonators, a lot of igniters, debris bombs, planter bombs. That's gonna be a toy that everybody's gonna want. The rooftop scene we have with Morgan fighting with sticks is a challenge. It's really about finding a visual way to tell the story of moving from The Walking Dead to Fear The Walking Dead. We're going for a kind of retro look, more gritty, more like a kind of 1970s Western. Our main concerns when working in height is obviously safety. We have utility stunts here with boxes and pads that we're going to put in between each trailer. Learning the Aikido and the bow staff has been an absolute joy for me, and then putting it into practice. I absolutely love it. We always wanted to make sure that we were with the character, not watching the character. It's really about finding the right technique for each beat, making sure that all the time there's a sense of tension. 